Hi, my name is Elon James White, and you are now watching This Week in Blackness. What is going on, folks? We are, <laughs> we're back. This is episode one, season four of This Week in Blackness. Yes! <laughs> And now, and now we have a new sponsor. <laughs> Just in case you didn't notice that big ass red and white logo to your left. Now we are with News One. So when I tell people to go F themselves, it sounds way more official, you know? Hey, one show told me to go F myself. That was News One's This Week in Blackness. Come on, it just sounds better. And to add to your season four awesome dose of blackness, we're also offering a daily podcast. That's right. Monday through Thursday, you can listen live at blackingitup.com or download it on iTunes. And uh, you now get extra blackness. You're going to get all sorts of awesome black hitty black, 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 black tastic black tasms. That's a lot of words. Oh, what a difference a year makes. Last year on our season premiere, we were mocking Michael Steele. <laughs> but this year, he doesn't even have a job. Man, another unemployed black man. Even though I'm completely and totally okay with this one. Right now, the United States of America is in a new era of so-called civility. So you realize that on This Week in Blackness, we have to follow suit, you know? We're going to now be civil, okay? We're going to tell people civilly to stop being an asshole. Like Tyler Perry taking an acting role that was made famous by Morgan freaking Freeman, okay? Seriously, stop being an asshole. Go make like Medea's Family Barbecue Reunion in Space Part 17 Meet the Fockers. I don't know what the fuck it is, but like, you go do that. Don't Stop messing up good things. Like Michelle Bachman, who's rewriting American history and has Glenn Beck co-signing her. <laughs> the reason why um, uh, she is getting attacked so hard is because Michelle Bachman They're could great. run for president of the United States and she could win. So the same thing with Sarah Palin. Admittedly, these two people would have a very hard time not being an asshole, okay? I mean, their asshole skills are, like, amazing. They are, like, they are spectacular. Like, they went on a pilgrimage to learn how to be this much of an asshole. Like, they were, they studied under assholic monks who, like, taught them the ways of asshole food. They're, like, third-degree black belts in assholicness. Like, they are magic when it comes to this. I should stop. I'm trying to be civil. I mean, it's even, it's Black History Month, okay? Like, I even got, I even got Black History Month glasses. Look. So now, so now when I judge people, I can just like put my glasses and like. See, when you judge people in these glasses, you're like judging them historically and militantly at the same time. It's amazing how that works. But that's not, we're not doing that this episode. That's not, that's not what we're here for. There's no reason to judge anyone. This is what Barack Obama didn't want to answer. Is that, is that human life a person under the Constitution? And Barack Obama says no. Well, if that person, human life, is not a person, then I, I find it almost remarkable for a, for, a, for a black man to say, no, we're going to decide who are people and who are not people. I can't, I can't do this. Like, who even thinks like this? Who would even, who would possibly agree with this idiot? There is something to back up what he said. And he's a presidential candidate, however. So I think uh, that Senator Santorum should be the one to defend his uh, remarks. They don't offend me. Dear Elon, stop asking dumb ass questions. Love, Elon. The fact that this is a ridiculous comparison has been dealt with numerous times online, okay? We, we, black people were persons, okay? We were even three-fifths of one, huh? <laughs> Let's for a moment just go along with your faux logic here. You're basically trying to shame a black man, and just, I'm assuming black people in general, into thinking it wise, thinking it a good idea to take away a woman's right to choose due to the tragedy that was placed upon us for hundreds of years? That was your logic? Because of injustices that were put on you, black people, you should want to put injustices on women. 
Yeah, I'm gonna need you anti-choice people to calm the fuck out, okay? Stop trying to rally black people behind you so that you can try to take away a woman's right to choose. I was online researching this and I actually saw the term womb lynching. Yeah, if you're black and let's say you have a medical issue that might be dangerous to have a child, or perhaps you were a victim of a crime or incest or something like that, and you think that it might be wise to have an abortion, fuck you, you're womb lynching. It's a womb lynching. Listen, I'm not trying to tell anyone what to believe, okay? If you're anti a woman's right to choose, fine. That's on you. But just don't try to cover up your controlling ass views with black people and that you're trying to help black people and save black people because they're, it's disproportionate to them. Fuck you! It has nothing to do with us. You are some controlling ass motherfucker who thinks that this is wise. And you know what? Leave me out of it. You ever notice the overwhelming amount of Republicans that are totally anti a woman's right to choose? That's weird because they're so for small government, but they so want the government to be up in a woman's uterus. That is just weird.